Greetings, my friends. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman. Today we are going to get into some deep core work focusing on toning the obliques. So that is gonna include twisting and side body movement to really trim and tone the waist while building strength and stamina in the core. So go ahead and like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're adding new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss a beat. Now go ahead and roll out your mat and we are going to start getting into our core and obliques workout for the day. So we're gonna begin our practice sitting on the mat. Go ahead and plant your feet flat out in front of you. Step your hands back towards the back of your mat. Press into the earth to lift your spine long. So we wanna feel that sense of the spine lifted with your shoulders rolling down your back, your collarbones open and your chest lifted to the sky. Hug your abdominals in towards your spine here. So already we're feeling a gentle engagement of the core muscles. Now rock back onto your hips, letting your feet float away from the mat. We're gonna bring your shins parallel to the floor and see if you can keep that nice long spine and lift in your chest. Bring your hands to prayer at your heart center here. Then we'll extend the left leg straight and twist your left elbow to your right knee. Hovering here, really revolve your rib cage around, engaging the strength of those right side obliques. Then we'll switch, bending the left knee, extend the right leg straight, twist that right knee across, or the right elbow across to the left knee. Lifting through your spine as you twist your heart around, we hover here, toning the strength of your core. Then we'll gently switch to the other side, and now we begin to alternate, going right and left, moving at a slow, steady pace. So sometimes we might feel like we're accomplishing more by doing more reps and moving really quickly through the shapes. In fact, the slower and more intentionally you can move, the deeper and more challenging the work becomes. So I encourage you to really take your time, really feel into each movement as you twist from right to left. And then here, let's go ahead and pick up the pace, alternating in a steady rhythm for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, whoo, two, and last one. Wrap your arms around your shins and just let yourself take a little break, feeling that warm sensation in your belly. Whew, so already starting to build some fire here. Now let's cross your ankles. Roll forward to your tabletop position. Now here we're gonna come down onto your forearms. Interlace your hands in front of you with your elbows about shoulder width apart. Now we're gonna step your feet back to the back edge of your mat, coming into a nice forearm plank. So this is already a big challenging pose, toning the strength of your core here. Taking it into the obliques, we're gonna lift the right leg then draw your right knee to your right tricep and cross it under, right knee to left tricep. Then step that right foot back. Then we go left foot up to the left tricep, to the right tricep and back. Again, right foot up to the side, cross it under and step it back. Then left to the tricep, Cross it under and step it back. You got it. Right side. Go to the side. <laughs> Go under and step back. Then to the left. Left side. Right side. Step back. Lift your hips high. Walk your feet in and let your chest open. 
melting your heart through your shoulders. Get a nice good stretch into the chest and shoulders here. Feel your spine lengthen long and let your belly drop up and in. Take three slow, deep breaths here, catching your breath. So you allow this to be a little bit of a resting pose. And coming forward into your forearm plank, we're gonna roll it to the side. So we'll shift onto the left forearm, bringing your forearm parallel to the front edge of your mat, rolling over to the outer edge of your left foot, bringing your right foot flat to the mat for a little side forearm plank. Bring your right hand back behind your head. Inhale, open your heart. Then exhale, fold your right elbow to your left hand. Inhale and open. Exhale and twist. Open and close. Two more times, we'll open it up and close it down. Last one, inhale and exhale. And we'll come back through your forearm plank, staying strong, finding stamina and power here. Rotate your right forearm on your mat. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot and step your left foot flat. Then we'll bring your left hand behind your head. Inhale, open your heart. Then exhale, twist your elbow down. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. We'll go two more times. Open and close. Open and close. Nice work, guys. We're gonna come back to that forearm plank. Walk your feet in, lift your hips high, stretch your chest and shoulders. So doing that forearm plank, really great for toning and strengthening the core body. It's also a lot of work to strengthen and tone the upper body, the shoulders and the upper back. So we just wanna take this moment to stretch it out. Then we'll lower your knees to the floor, coming all the way up. Let's start to make your way down onto your back. Rolling down onto your back, draw your knees into your chest. And this is where the real fun begins. Extend your legs straight up to the sky. Then we'll reach your fingertips to the sky as well. Lift and curl your head and shoulders away from the mat. And then we start to climb a rope, reaching one hand above the other, reaching right and left, and gently working the obliques here. Keep curling the head and shoulders away from the mat as you twist right to left, right to left. Keep your legs straight and strong as you climb that rope, reaching your way all the way to the top. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest and let it relax. Moving into eagle crunches, which are some of my favorite core exercises. These eagle crunches really get the whole core, obliques, the rectus abdominis, the lateral abdominals, just everything gets to work here in these eagle crunches. So if you only have one exercise you can do, let this be it. We're gonna cross the right knee over your left knee and eventually we're working to hook the toes behind your calf. So we wanna get that nice tight bind with the legs. Then we'll bring the right arm under, the left arm over, and again, working to wrap the forearms so we have a tight bind with the arms as well. Now lift your head and shoulders, drawing your elbows towards your knee. Then as we inhale, reach and extend your body long, keeping your head lifted. Then exhale, squeeze it into center. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Exhale to squeeze it in. 
reach long and squeeze in. We'll go two more times to stretch and compress. Stretch this last one, and then squeeze it in. Now unwind, and we'll practice the second side. Bringing the left leg on top, maybe hooking the toes behind your right calf. And then we bring the left arm under and the right arm over, crossing at your forearms. Wrap the forearms around each other until you bring your hands, palms to touch. Now curl your head and shoulders away from the mat. Inhale, reach and lengthen, keeping your head away from the floor. Then exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, hug it in. We'll do one more here. Stretch and compress. Then unwind. Hugging your knees into your chest. Let your belly relax. Let your hips relax and just feel yourself soften here. I've got one more great obliques exercise for you guys before we wind it down. You feeling ready? Ready to jump in and push yourself to that edge. So here we're going to do Something like a traditional leg lift. You guys have done leg lifts anytime you do core work, I'm sure. But we're gonna take this to the side. So start by extending your legs straight up to the sky. And I recommend reaching down and just taking a hold of the outer edges of your mat. Then here, we're gonna lift your hips and just roll them over towards the right side. So your hips are slightly off center, twisted towards the right. Now cross your right ankle over the left ankle, and then we just move into that leg lift. So you start by lowering your legs down towards the mat, hovering above the mat. Then inhale and lift your legs, then curl your hips away from the mat as high as you can. Then lower your hips back down. We'll do five cycles. So we lower the legs, then inhale, lift the hips. Exhale to lower the legs. Inhale, curl and lift the hips up. Again, we lower down. Inhale, lift. Last time on this side, lower the legs down. Then inhale, curl and lift the hips up. Nice work, team. We're going to cross it over to the second side. Lift your hips and swirl them to the left, right? So we lower the hips down, twisted towards that left side. Then we'll cross your left ankle over the right, preparing for leg lifts on this side. Lower the legs down. Then on your inhale, we lift the legs, curl and lift the hips. Then gently lower down, hover the legs above the mat, then inhale, curl and lift it up. Lower down, exhale, inhale to lift and lower down. We'll do two more on this left side. Lower and lift. Last one here, lower it down, and lift it up, squeeze and release. You can let your hips come back to center, hug your knees into your chest, let your belly relax and just smile to yourself that you've done a great job, you've done some incredible core work today, you can pat yourself on the back and feel good about earning that cookie or earning that glass of wine or whatever it is you want to reward yourself with. Maybe you've earned yourself a good healthy smoothie. <laughs> whatever it is that feels good to you, you've earned it. <laughs> so let your feet come down flat to the floor, stepping your feet as wide apart as your mat. 
let your knees fall in towards each other and you can just let your hands rest gently on your belly. Close your eyes here and let your breathing slow down. Tune in to the beating of your heart. Feel that heart beating in your chest. Smile to yourself because you've done a great job. And stay here and relax for as long as you need until your heart rate, heart rate and your breathing return to normal, a slow, steady, comfortable pace. And just feel those warm, tingling sensations that you've cultivated inside of your body. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you in your practice today. And thank you for joining me on my community channel. I hope that you have enjoyed this practice. Don't forget to like this video so you can come back and keep following along with me until you have trained those obliques and core. We'll see you next time. Namaste.